Hi, my name is Scott Wesley and I'm from Perth in Australia. I've been using Oracle since the year 2000 and you can find me blogging at grassroots-oracle.com. This video series is called Oracle Apex Techniques. This series will target developers of all skill sets. Beginners should understand all videos. Advanced users may pick up some tips. But most of the videos will be offering them to the intermediate skill level. I'll be using Apex 4.2, which is the current release. The appearance of your screens may appear different, but the concepts will be the same. The first section will be on getting started with Oracle Application Express. This video series will cover things like creating a workspace, your first application and pages, creating an item on a page, and finding your way around the Apex environment. Before we do anything, we really need to create a new workspace. Workspace is an independent area for developers to build applications. Initially, we can log into the internal workspace using the admin user, and this is a special area where we can manage the Apex environment, such as managing our instances and creating a new workspace. So it runs through the steps for creating a new workspace. For example, we could create a new workspace called Packed New. This wizard here is something that's typical of the Apex environment. We've got a number of steps to run through a series of pages which describe your environment. So that workspace name already exists. So I'll give it a unique name and continue through the wizard. In my case, I've already got an existing schema set up. So I'll choose one from this list of values here. So I'll choose the packed new schema and continue through the wizard. And we need a password and an email address there and we can create our new workspace. And it's now being provisioned for us. So that means we can log out of the internal workspace, return to the login page and log into our new Workspace. First time you log in, you'll be asked to change your password and then log in again. Now we're in our Apex environment. It will take a little bit of getting used to the buttons and navigation that's surrounding the development environment. But you'll come to realise that the applications you build look very similar to the Apex workspace itself. All your URLs will have the server name, port number, Apex prefix here, but the signature will be this extension along here. We'll learn what all these numbers and, and letters mean. But to start off, we'll go to the administration section and create ourselves some more users. So we can go to the manage users and groups. Now at the moment we have an admin user, but let's say we'll create a developer. So it's not as privileged as the administration, but uh, can develop applications. So I've created a new user called Scott for our default schema. He's not an administrator and is a developer and has access to these areas here. We can set up a default password as well, which could be required for change on first use. And there we can create multiple developers for our workspace. And ultimately, we'll come into the application builder and create some applications. Also note that there's help available, which will take you straight to the online documentation. So now that we've created our workspace, we can start creating applications, which we'll do next.